Oliver. Thank you, Dustin. Welcome out to Dozer Park. Thanks for joining us. A little Sunday night baseball. I got our manager, Chris Swagger, and uh, we see Sunday night baseball all the time when the you know the Cardinals are playing on uh, ESPN. And tonight it's us. So a little Sunday night baseball, something different, and uh, a little bit of fun for your eyes. Is ESPN here? Uh, they could be. Let's just say they are. Oh, okay. Well, where's like uh, Carl Ravitch? I was supposed to play catch with him, right? Yeah, you, already, you didn't do that earlier? No. Oh, you missed it. You want to play catch? No. Okay. No, that, that'd be embarrassing for one of us. Probably me. <laughs> no chance. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be able to throw. You're, you're just supposed to be able to talk. That's true, and I can do that. Yeah. So we're good. We're yeah, both you good wouldn't there. even have to squat. To That's very true. I yeah. wouldn't. Yeah, we're going to do that. And I got like a 12-year-old catcher's gear. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I fantastic. think you're all set. So we're good for Sunday Night Baseball? Yeah. Yeah. Want to play catch? No. <laughs> no. Um, did you get this line for your autographs? Did you sign everybody? Uh, I I feel like that's not for me. Oh. Well, I saw you over there at yeah. the front no, of it. No, the, the very first lady, because every time uh, she comes down, they, she never asks for it, which is fine. I, I, I actually devalue stuff when I sign it, I think. Uh, but, you know, they, they never – and I just was saying, like, oh, no, nobody wants my notes. So she asked me for it. And then everybody else is lined up with this Piscotti dude stuff. Oh, like that's one, what it is. Yeah, I, like, and, you know, <laughs> so. I mean, I, I kind of want it, too, now that I think about it. You didn't ask? No. I think no. all you got to do is ask. Probably. You played with them. We did, we did play together, yeah. so, um, you know, I, I might have an in. When you were in Springfield? Uh, well, right. it was weird. It was odd. Um, he got to Springfield. I, I want to say that was, like, my ninth or tenth year in AA. I can't remember. Um, but no, actually, um, we were there together at the same time, and uh, and I think it was in 13 right. that he got there, um, and we played together for a couple weeks, and then I went up to AAA for the fourth time that year, uh, and that's not a joke, um, and then stayed there for the rest of the year. He finished the season in AA, and then the following year, he was in AAA, and I was back uh, in AA, so um, we played together for a little bit. We played a, a lot during spring training and stuff like that so um you know we knew each other and you develop a relationship with everybody right. uh, you know same positions uh, and stuff like that so um it's been a cool experience having them around that back and forth isn't something we deal with as much at this level whether it's even the ones below us johnson city state college us and palm beach you don't get that as much when you kind of get on the, the the route from springfield to memphis and you can go back and forth obviously we've seen it this year memphis to st louis is very easy for guys to go back and forth but it happens in double a AA and triple a springfield memphis a lot more than here what's that like as a player when you're bouncing back and forth that many times during a season i'm sure that that's tough mentally more than anything else yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a grind. I will say the one positive is I got a lot of frequent flyer miles. Um, I had to make sure I got that. A lot of hotel room points, um, so that was a huge positive. Uh, but in all reality, um, you just kind of get used to it. Um, I think the lifestyle in general of a minor league baseball player is one that uh, is conducive to living out of a suitcase more or less. Um, you know, you have to be able to pack up your life uh, for six or seven months in you know about 20 minutes uh, and do it repeatedly if necessary. So. Um, I think uh, guys that have done it, they, they get used to it. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, you got to find a laundry uh, machine somewhere sure. and, uh, you know, get it done. But it's, uh, it, it's a cool experience, one that, um, you know, I, uh, I truly enjoyed. Um, I wish I would have played a little better at the higher level uh, so that I could have stayed there. But uh, you understand when, when guys are coming up and down from the big leagues and, you know, there's a trickle-down effect and, you know, guys get pulled from double-A to the big leagues. Right. So, um, you know, those three levels, are, they're, they're kind of interchangeable, um, you know, with players uh, and very fluid with who's there. So um, it's just, uh, you know, it's, it's different for sure. Uh, and you're right about this level. Uh, guys are kind of here, and either they go up or they go out. Um, it's, it's not like that at uh, AA and AAA for sure. Four or five times in the last month, you've gotten to tell a guy, they've mostly been pitchers here recently, that they're going up to Palm Beach. We had Jordan Hicks and Michael Riley, most recently on this homestand, uh, Eric Carter. So what's that been like for you? Have you kind of developed uh, any kind of routine? Do you have fun with any of it? Or are you more straightforward uh, calling guys in and telling them, hey, here's your plane ticket and go pack your bag? What's, what's that been like for you? Um, depending on the guy, um, you know, it. Uh, we try to do. We do try to have a little bit of fun with it. Um, we we mess with them a little bit at some at, at uh, certain times, but um, a lot of the time it's uh, you tell them a night game before uh, they're flying out very early in the morning. So 
you know, you kind of got to do your charade, get it over with real right. quick, uh, really quickly, so that they can go pack their stuff and then prep uh, to get, these are typically on the first flight out of here. Uh, I don't know if you know this, it's a somewhat small airport, <laughs> uh, and very limited flights, and, um, you know, they got to, they got to connect and, and get certain places. So, um, but we do, uh, we have a lot of fun. I think with O'Reilly, um, when he went, we told him, you know, you're just throwing too many innings and, you know, we got to skip your start. So, uh, you know, just hang in there. And, uh, you know, he kind of he looked down and he was just like, all right, I understand. That's fine. I was like, I'm just messing with you, dude. You're going to pump, you know, so. Um, and then he goes up there and throws, like, five no-hit innings to start his high yeah, career. Yeah, I think just he like started he done, twice, yeah. and he's thrown 15 innings yeah. and two starts yeah. and given up, like, I don't know, like six hits. And Hicks a few of them have been homers, yeah, though. Homers. But, you know, and then Hicks but, five shutout innings again uh, the other night, so he's been, uh, been yeah. pitching well up there. No, it's great. So. It's awesome because I had absolutely nothing to do with it. So uh, <laughs> I, I feel like these guys, like, they go there and they're, like, finally, like, I got away from Swagger. <laughs> now, I can, now I can actually do something. So. Uh, on the flip side of it, it means we got some new faces. We got one that just got here that's going to start tomorrow in Sam Tavis. We got a couple guys uh, on the road trip. Uh, and, correction, he's not here yet. Okay, yeah, so he's, he's not here, here yet, but yeah. hopefully he will be so he can air. start tomorrow Yeah. at 12 o'clock. Yeah, if not uh, – <laughs> We might be doing that pitcher catcher thing uh, if he doesn't. That's going to be so, trouble. Yeah, it's going to be a real deal. Um, and, and then uh, and then Tilly, who got here and, and went straight in. So you've had a couple of guys where it's like, hey, nice to meet you. Go get in the bullpen. You're hot tonight. I need an inning. Yeah, uh, I mean we, you know, we throw guys into the fire, um, you know, and just hope that you know they they sink or swim. Most of the time, they figure out a way to swim. Um, you know, we try to stress to them that it's it's the same game. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference. Uh, a little bit. Maybe a little bit more consistency up here with what uh, what guys do, but um, you know, a lot of times uh, they're very prepared coming up from state college. Uh, Cruzel does a great job getting them uh, ready to go, and I, I just think within like our organization, we do a nice job of prepping guys uh, for the future and whatever level they go at, and then um, you know the coaching staffs at each level try to have some consistency with um, with what we're teaching and what we're trying to do. So guys. Uh, have as smooth a transition as possible. So um, the guys uh, that have come in here, uh, we had a couple guys come in on the road, and then, um, you know, the guys that just got here, this homestand, they've done a nice job. They've uh, assimilated well into the clubhouse, and, uh, you know, they've, they've uh, been ready to go since they got here. So we'll get one more tonight, and uh, we'll see what he's got tomorrow, huh? Yeah, then we got a right fielder we're going to lose after tonight's game. What, what's it been like for you guys, for the guys in the, the clubhouse having Piscotti here for the last few days? What do you hope uh, that your players have, have learned from him the last couple of days? Um, just, I mean, when it, any of those guys come down, it's 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 more of like a uh, that they're, they're setting an example. It's not like they're here to, you know, like preach the gospel or anything right. like gospel of baseball. But um, just – how they go about their business, uh, how they take care of it, how they act like true professionals. Uh, I guess my hope is that our guys notice that. It's not necessarily that they need to go up and harp and, 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 and annoy him with questions and just try to be him. But like, if they can notice and pay attention uh, and just see how he goes uh, about getting ready for a game, getting his body ready, getting his mind ready, um, you know, that's a good thing. Because a lot of the times we're always preaching um, that the guys on this team have a very similar uh, skill set, if not better talents than some of the guys that play uh, in the big leagues. The, the biggest difference is that the consistency with which they right. do it. Um, and so when they see that and they see a guy and his skills on display and maybe see how close or how far away they are, it gives them something to shoot for. And, and, and most of that is just how consistent they are with what they do. Well, Sunday Night Baseball, so we'll have a uh, third inning. We'll have Buster only in there. We'll mic you up during the game. Nice. We'll throw you on the video board, like, right in the middle I of the inning. I think he's a little guy, too, right? Probably. Yeah. I know Rosenthal is, so yeah. we'll, we'll just throw you on the video board in the middle of the yeah. inning. Ask One of these you, days we got to do this where I'm standing up. And, and yeah, that's just to, No? <laughs> no, that's fine. You can do whatever you want. Oh, okay. It's not, new, it's not breaking news. All right. So That's fine. It's all good. Good all luck right. out there tonight. Thank you, sir. Our manager, Chris Swagger, as we get ready for Sunday Night Baseball post-game fireworks and go buy tennis balls for our pitch and for charity, raising money for the Pediatric Resource Center. We'll see you back out here at noon tomorrow. Thanks for spending your Sunday night with us here at the ballpark.